using cinnamon dates bread, of course. My favorite one. You guys have to try these. And you have to dip them in cinnamon dates bread. We're gonna jump right into this. I'm showing you guys how to make cinnamon dates bread French toast sticks. Bonus is that you can dip them in afterwards instead of syrup. Go ahead and grab your favorite bread, whether that's multigrain, sourdough, rye, or chala, chala? Not sure how you say that. I've never been one for the English language, although it is my first. I got some special grain-free bread from AWG Bakery. Uh, it's really good, super thick. The thicker, the better. In every case in life, but especially French toast. It'll soak up the juices of the cinnamon and vanilla and egg wash, so. AWG has vegan, paleo, grain-free bread, and I'm all about that. So this is gonna be some super freaking healthy French toast. So for the egg wash recipe, you're gonna wanna take three eggs, one tablespoon of vanilla, a teaspoon of cinnamon dates bread, a little shake of cinnamon, some coconut milk, and then whisk all that together. Slice your bread into super thick pieces and let it soak. The longer the better. After your bread has soaked up all that cinnamony goodness, you're gonna wanna put it into a greased or oiled or buttered pan. I used coconut oil for this case. And watch it sizzle. Woo! I wish you guys could smell this right now. It is ridiculous. They're so fluffy. They've gotta have a ton of protein because of the eggs. These ones are grain free, which is awesome. I avoid dairy at all costs, so I used coconut oil and they came out just as amazing. Very greasy and cinnamony because I'm making a mess. Do you remember those French toast sticks we used to eat when we were kids that like you just popped in the toast oven and then you tore apart? The, what were they called? The Eggo, Lego My Eggo was? Yeah, I ate those for breakfast every single day throughout elementary and middle school. Did anyone used to make a fort with their French toast sticks when they were a kid? Like what if we stack them all fun? It's like playing with Lincoln Logs and like now we can cut them in weird diagonal shapes. So now they're like little French toast bites. They're like marshmallows, but cinnamon. Wow. I'm about to eat this a lot. Get ready to see this all over my Instagram. Also shout out to AWG Bakery for hooking up the freaking dense bread. I still have this loaf left over, so I'm gonna make more. Their ingredients are arrowroot flour, organic almond flour, coconut flour, apple cider vinegar, chia seeds, maple syrup, salt, olive oil. What even? Grain-free, vegan. Well, it's not vegan because I use eggs. But you can use just egg alternative or whatever your go-to flax egg vegan alternative is. But otherwise, these are natural, Grain-free, paleo, French toast sticks. <gasps> Oops. I'm obsessed. And you have to dip them in cinnamon dates bread. Unreal, man, unreal. I tell you guys, you can make a healthier version of anything. Message me if you need it, I'll figure it out for you. Anything is possible with dates bread. I can't get over this. I'm down half a jar. Last bite. It was good. I'll make more. While I was chewing, I totally thought like I need to do a Nutella chocolate date spread French toast twist. So uh, stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel because I post lots of fun, grain-free, paleo, healthy recipes. Bye!